98% of people were not able to solve this problem. We have two poles perpendicular to the ground. This pole is 15 units tall, and this pole is 10 units tall. A straight line is drawn from the top of each pole to the base of the other, forming an X shape. Both these lines intersect at this point. Now, draw this perpendicular line from this intersection point. The question is, what is the height at which the two lines intersect above the ground? Can you figure it out? Take a moment to think about it. Let's walk through the solution together. Let's suppose the distance from this pole to the point of intersection is A, and from that point to the other pole is B. We're not given the exact values of A or B, but that's okay. As you'll soon see, they cancel out in the process, so we won't need them in the end. Now, look at this larger triangle and the smaller one. Both triangles share this angle, and both are right-angled triangles. So, by the angle-angle similarity criterion, these two triangles are similar. That means the ratio of base to height in both triangles will be equal. This means the ratio of base to height in the larger triangle is A plus B over 15. And in the smaller triangle, the ratio is B over H. Since the triangles are similar, these two ratios must be equal. Consider this bigger triangle and this smaller triangle. Again, both of them have the same angle, which is this angle, and both are right triangles. Therefore, they are similar triangles. So the ratio base over height of both the triangles will be equal. So we will have A plus B over 10 is equal to A over H. Now, here comes the magic. Add both these equations. We get A plus B over 15 plus A plus B over 10 is equal to A over H plus B over H. Taking common A plus B from left side, we will get A plus B times 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10 is equal to A plus B over H. Now, canceling the A plus B from both of the side. We can rewrite our equation as 1 over 15 plus 1 over 10 is equal to 1 over H, which gives us 1 over 6 is equal to 1 over H. So the value of H is 6, and that's our solution. But wait, before you go, here's one more challenge for you. Can you find the height of the intersection point in terms of X and Y? Think it through and drop your answer in the comments below. Let's see who can crack it. Thanks a lot for watching and supporting the channel. See you in the next video. Bye-bye.